Some people say that tennis number one enemy is the wind. I completely agree. But the number one friend for tennis players is the wall. Having a wall routine or using the wall is essential at any moment for any tennis player. No matter how advanced you are or in which stage of your tennis career you are, using the wall is vital. In this video, I will show you some exercises that you can do to do a complete practice session. And believe me, if you do it every day, your volleys, your game at the net, and your reflexes are going to be at a higher level. But before you start, make sure your wrist is at the right position. A way to know if you have the right grip is by marking your racket with numbers. In your racket, your grip has sides that are flat. Mark them one, two, and three. And then mark your hand with a star under your index finger. That mark has to be in number two. That is a continental grip. To warm up this wrist position, you can do some exercises. Your wrist has to get used to this position, and it has to get stronger in different angles, like pronating the wrist. You can do this exercise. Look how I'm turning my wrist. Hammer bounce. Make sure you're moving your wrist, not your arm. And turning the racket using the frame as much as possible. Try to do this before doing the wall routine or until you feel comfortable with this wrist position. Remember, the continental grip is really important because it is the grip that you have to use for serving, volleying, two-handed backhand, overhead, slice, anyways. It is called continental for a reason. Don't worry, it is a process and it does not have to feel comfortable since the first try. Now, the wall exercises you can start close to the wall. The closer, the better. Don't forget to do forehand and backhand for every exercise. Look at the racket head. It has to be up and you have to try to hit it in front of you. Look at the wrist. It has to be firm. Second exercise could be moving sideways, forehand and backhand. Half volleys. Close to the wall and moving forward and back. High volleys. Pick up the speed and do forehand and backhand, alternating. You can create games if you're feeling competitive, where 20 volleys in a row give you one point and keep score like regular tennis, 15-0. If you cannot make 20 volleys in a row, you would lose the point. Can you last a set? How about two out of three sets? Remember, the wall is a great way to practice. Let me know if you would like to know more wall exercises. Thank you for watching.